so I'll be going down by one one inch on the leg neckline I don't want it to be too open that's why you see me trying to check so by the time I checked it it was six and a half inches which is not that to open so I'll be connecting the neckline to the neck depth right now that's what I'm trying to the neck weight and the neck depth so the next thing I'm gonna do is to connect the arm O since there is no shoulder we'll connect the where the neckline stops to the arm O so I'll be taking the I want to take my dart so before then I'll be taking the nipple to nipple which is eight divided by two gives me four so I'm taking four and a half right there so I'll be taking the I'm still getting taking the nipple to nipple measurement so I'll be taking the the dart so from the shoulder taking off the off shoulder we're supposed to have um, nine inches for front for front dart twelve inches for front dart I mean I'm sorry supposed to have 12 inches from the shoulder down you mark 12 inches to get your to get the front dart so I'll be taking a half inch on each side of the line that I drew half inch on each side I will connect it to that 12 inches of the dart so what i'm trying to do right here is um i will be marking out one inch out extending it out since i'm not using a fixing i'm not gonna put fixing i just want to you know turn it half half inch and top stitch it I'm not putting facing on this, no facing, so I'm just, I went up one inch round both the neck and the armhole. So I'll be showing you guys what I mean by that. I will just bend it and top stitch. Since we are not using um, facing, I will just bend it that way and top stitch on it. That's the essence of that one inch, just to bend it. So we're done with the front, we're going to the back. I'm just showing that I will be using the same pattern the way I place the front. I place the front, the front pattern on the back fabric. I'm just showing that I want the pattern to be exactly the same position with that of the front. Up. so i'm checking the zip zip allowance which is um one and a half inch i'll go ahead right now and trace out the front on the back fabric So I've traced it out on the, the back fabric. I'm going in right now to take the nipple to nipple, which is four inches plus half inch for sewing, which is four and a half. Connect the points. Now I'll be taking my dart. The back dart 
is nine inches. The back that from the shoulder down is nine inches. So that's what I, I took right there. I will extend it to get to the nine to the point I'm, I marked nine inches. And I will take half inch on both sides of the straight line. And I will connect it to the to that point to the nine inches I marked from shoulder down. I will cut it out. We have the back. So now I'll be cutting the the peplum, the 1080 degree peplum. If you haven't checked out my video on how to cut the 360, 720, 1440 degree peplum, I have it in the video. I will leave the link. Go check the go check it out. The easiest way of calculating it and cutting it out. So I've already done that. Check out the video. You will see how I calculated it. It's so easy. The easiest method. You don't need all those calculations. On that video, you will see how simple it is to calculate your peplum. So I've done that and I'm cutting out the peplum. This one, I'll be attaching three circles, which is 1080 degree peplum. So I'll be cutting out three circles. That will give us the 1080 degree peplum. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, on this channel we do braided wigs, Gilly, healthy lifestyle, and right now we are doing sewing. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Support your girl. Support your girl. And for those of us that have already subscribed, thank you. I appreciate you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you all. Thank you all. So this is the three circles I'm just showing that I've cut it out. So I cut, I slit each of the, the circles. That way I'll be able to join one to the other. So I slit each at that point. Um, at the point I cut it, I will be joining it to, the, to each other. So now I want to, I'm attaching a pocket to the jumpsuit. So I took a two and a half. You can take three, depending on how wide you want the shape of the pocket to go. So I took two and a half and I'll be going down by seven inches. Six and a half or seven inches, whichever one, but I took seven. I curve it out to connect to the point um, of the two and a half. Then you cut it out. So this is the pocket, um, we call it pocketing. When I, I remember when we were learning, we used to call it pocketing. When I will be using this for the pocket. So I take 14 inches long. You can, I took a seven inches wide. You see the way I folded it? I fold into for first food, second food. Uh, 
just give it a curve at that edge right there then you cut So I'm just trying to show us that I want to eliminate the puff puffy at the back. Those boards you see at the at the top of our blouses, I'm just trying to eliminate it by going in by half inch. I went in by half inch just to eliminate the puffiness. There's nothing I'm doing right there. I'm just trying to eliminate that puff at the back of the upper part of the jumpsuit so i'm just trying to ensure that it is two inches down and i'll cut up cut off the excess So we are going back to the pocket to so attach the pocket to the lower part of the jumpsuit. So you see the way I'm placing the pocket right now. So as the thing, will, so as the pocket will have the same shape with a with a jumpsuit pant. So I place the pocket on top of the, the jumpsuit pant, the lower part of the jumpsuit, like so. And I will stitch it down by half inch, just the way I'm twisting the check. Stitch it down by half inch. I will sew it and show you guys. I will go ahead and sew it, stitch it down and show you guys. So I've stitched it down. That's the way it's looking. So the next thing I did was to notch it. Then turn it on the, this other, the other way so as the pocket will be inside then you fold the pocket to cover up that spot that will cut off the pocket will, will, will be part of the will serve as that point that will cut out from the jumpsuit it's not time to so the pocket just raise the, the pant up and sew it half inch like so the way you see me do so i've done that i've done both sides both the front the two sides of the front jumpsuit so i will go ahead and stitch it together so you need by using half inch from there half inch like so up i will stitch it together so i've done that so for the back i will be marking out the two inches that we place for the zipper if you, if you remember when we are cutting it we added two inches at the back of the lower part of the jumpsuit so i'm marking out that two inch so as to sew it and attach the zipper so that's for the front i've stitched it together 
I've done the back, the same too. So I'll be holding the front and back together. So at this point, I want to trademark, say, um, say something. If you want to hold your pine together, ensure you measure. It doesn't matter even if you marked out and so you still need to measure your pint when holding it together to know the exact um, measurement. So I've stitched the front, hold it that the front and back of the upper part of the jumpsuit. So I'll, I'll go ahead and hold that spot I was saying. Since I'm not adding facing, I will just top stitch on top like so. Hold it like so and top stitch. Hold the neck too. The neck, I did same thing. I held the neck round and top stitch too. We are not using facing, that's why we are doing that. So I will go ahead and that's the lower part of the jumpsuit and the upper part. I'll go ahead and attach the zipper. I will attach the jumpsuit together first before I now attach the, the zipper. So I've gone ahead and do that, attaching the lower part of the jumpsuit and the upper part of the jumpsuit. Then I now attach the zipper. That's the way it's looking right now. So the next thing I'll be doing is to attach the, the peplon. I've had the three circles together. You can see the I've had it together. So after holding it together, I need, you need and I notched it. If not, it will not relax. You need to notch those places like that to make it relax. And notch it. So I want, I'm cutting it out. I'm, I place it down for it to be straight because you don't want it to be laying on top of each other when fixed after you fix your your peplum at the back. You have to I lay it down, relax, let it relax so as to see where to cut up. I want it straight so that when I attach it at the back. You can see it right there where the zip is. Once I attach it there, it's going to be straight. If you don't cut it out, this is the way it will be looking. You see, it's pushing out this other side. If you, if I haven't cut it, cut it out, that's the way it will go. But because I cut it out, it's going to be straight. You cut out that, just lay it on the table. Let it be straight before you cut it out. I'm just trying to show you guys the way it will look like if you don't cut that angle out. So before attaching the peplon, cut off this excess zip. So you saw the attach the peplon to the jumpsuit in such a way that you'll be able to pass half inch elastic band through it. You saw it in such a way that you'll be able to pass the elastic band through it. Like half inch sewing all around so that you'll be able to pass the elastic band through it. So I've done that. So I'll be passing through the elastic band round. I'll pass it around like so. So we are attaching a strap to the to the jumpsuit. Since we are making it a versatile, we want to wear it in different ways. So I'm attaching uh, the strap, which is five and a half, which is the off shoulder that we took off when we were cutting the upper part of the jumpsuit. 
that's a half and a half and um, five and a half inches so i have two straps i've joined it i've given it a good press you can see it right there depending on how wide or how thin you want it it's left for you so you whip that edge whip it give it a very good neat whip before attaching it depending on how wide or how thin you want your strap to look like you do that so this is the i'll go ahead and knit the peplum by sewing it round guys that's the jumpsuit that's the first tie it's looking so beautiful guys so nice free on your body not too tight depending on how you want it fitted this is the second style guys just let me know in the comment section which is your favorite let me know guys let me know the, your your style your, your your favorite of these styles the one you will rock more this is the third one i love this one i love one hand i'm a fan of one handed blouse i love this style thank you guys for watching thank you please don't forget to subscribe